Choose the appropriate seating position for your child. The seating position must have a three-point vehicle belt, and the vehicle head restraint must allow the backrest to lie flat against the vehicle's seat back. If not, the vehicle head restraint must be removed and properly stored. Remove the lower connectors from the storage slots in the base. Place the booster seat on the vehicle seat. Push the Isoflex release button on one side of the booster seat and pull the lower connector to fully extend the Isoflex adjuster strap. Then repeat on the opposite side to ensure that all slack has been released from the Isoflex system. Starting with the lower anchor furthest from you first, ensure the Isoflex adjuster strap is not twisted and push the lower connector onto its adjacent lower anchor. A click confirms attachment. Repeat the process with the opposite lower connector. Guide the seat into place while pulling the Isoflex adjuster strap on either side of the booster seat to remove slack. Only tighten until the slack is removed from the Isoflex adjuster strap. Over tightening the strap can force the backrest of the booster seat forward. Sit your child in the booster seat and check the head restraint for proper height adjustment. Pull the vehicle seat belt out and route the lap part of the vehicle seat belt under both armrests and over both base belt guides. Verify that the vehicle belt is not twisted and then fasten across the child. Ensure that the lower anchors in the vehicle do not prevent proper vehicle belt fit across your child. Route the shoulder part of the vehicle seat belt through the shoulder belt guide. Route the lap part of the vehicle seat belt through the secure guard clip. Remove any slack from the vehicle seat belt. Check for proper vehicle seat belt fit across your child. The shoulder part of the vehicle belt must be across the middle of the child's chest and the lap part over their upper thighs. 